thank you very kindly. Um, if you are Mr. Raymond's daughter, then I can call you the Nkoko Princess. <laughs> I think that we all know that uh, we're lucky to have had Mr. Raymond and his family as one of the best friends that Mutek will ever have. Thank you very much. Today's dinner dance is the first of its kind, and it promises to be a memorable one. I welcome you all, and I thank you for making the journeys and sacrifices, especially knowing that Saturday evening is prime time, March of the day of first football, whatever they watch, and then a little walk to the pub. You've sacrificed all. Thank you very much. We, however, know that in doing so, we are giving ourselves the opportunity to meet people, put away at least for a moment stresses of life, have fun, and at the same time, resonate our heart beat through our thoughts and donations for people in Ghana. It may be opportune at this time to touch on the origin and destination of Motec. When a family gets touched by the difficulties and problems of health care for poor patients, the choices of response are few. Ignore it and be depressed. Respond to the human needs and be happy in your heart. What my family saw at Kofrodia St. Joseph's Hospital and other hospitals by accident in July of 2006 uh, meant only one thing to us, redeployment of charity troops from the UK. Translated into civil language, MUTEC means the following. The M is for movement of medical teams to reach out to Africa. The O is orthopedic trauma care at the forefront, bones, joints, soft tissue. T is for the training of local staff, transfer of skills and technology. E stands for to educate and be educated in all faculties of healthcare, including general surgery, obstetrics, plastics, uh, physiotherapy, occupational health, all aspects. The C is for consultation and cooperation, which is essential, counting on accountability. Life, we all know what life is, but leadership that is uh, prepared to lead and learn is what our L stands for. Industrious plan to self-sustain a meaningful program is what I, I means. Faith in ourselves to achieve objectives with friends of Ghana. Effective and efficient service to a few that would inspire many. And we have a United Kingdom of members with a purpose. That's what MUTEC Life stands for. So ladies and gentlemen, when my family drove back to Accra from a visit to Govorodia St. Joseph's Hospital, on the 7th of July last year, pondering over the request from the hospital clinical director, the debate continued on and on in the car. That's how they, we managed to coin the word or the title, Motec Life UK. It was spontaneous. This idea was introduced to friends in the UK who welcomed it wholeheartedly and initially from a membership of 10, a caretaker trustee was formed on the 30th of September last year. So we quite haven't celebrated our first year of uh, establishment. Today, MUTEC has about 80 strong membership with skilled personnel that includes the following. Nursing staff, pharmacists, microbiologists, physiotherapists, theater equipment sterilization experts, anesthetists and supporting staff, health managers, and secretaries, plastic and general surgeons, obstetrician gynecologists, orthopedic surgeons, account clerks, plumbers, information technology experts, health product procurement officers, all of whom are full-time employees in the national health service as well as the private health sector. And indeed, we have the local police constabulary contributing to our IT work. 
And that's a gentleman in a white t-shirt taking your photographs. <laughs> he actually works at a crime office, so whatever pictures he's taking will be used as crime scene. <laughs> no, far from it. Motec is a British charity and it's now run by a trustee executive guided by a constitution, enabling led by a trail of patrons, peer-headed by Law Professor David Alton of Liverpool and also the House of Lords. The first annual general, general meeting and formal full swing elections come, 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 and come up on the 1st of December of this year. We currently have a planned working visit to Ghana four times a year with teams of a minimum of 10 experts each trip. This involves financial cost, but our results show its worth in the hearts and homes of many in Ghana. As a responsible organization, we aim to work hard and hold ourselves accountable for our actions. We aim to work very hard, and this reminds me of the saying of a famous uh, person. A man should do his job so well that the living, the dead, and the unborn could do it no better. Be the best of whatever you are, and Motec promises to deliver. We have not even come to the first year of our establishment, but in trying to do our work well, we face new challenges that baffles the membership. There have been calls for help from far and wide. Today, we pay working visits to two different hospitals, in Koko Holy Family, where Mr. Raymond went, and St. Jesus Hospital. And we are assessing healthcare services, educational and training needs of Kramsu St. Michael's Hospital, Asafo, and Tema General. There is a call to be involved in the training of orthopedic residents by the Ghana College of Surgeons and Physicians. Groups of people and hostels in Gambia and Nigeria keep knocking on our door. We have been linked with the Tropical Health and Education Trust in UK, and MOTEC has been sponsored by the International Organization for Migration uh, Limited, though. We enjoy the cooperation of the Ghana High Commission in London, uh, through whom we have a tax-free clearance arrangement in the ports of Ghana. Uh, we also enjoy the support of uh, local British companies, Corin UK as an example, that uh, provides us uh, implants at subsidized uh, prices. We are also affiliated with the World of the Big Concern in a new alliance that promises to be exciting. Certainly, there comes a time when the bricks may have to be applied without holding back the desire to support change and improvement. Membership only need to remind ourselves of what once was written by Ralph Emerson in 1871. And he said, if a man wrote a better book or preached a better sermon, even if he built his house in the woods, the world will make a beaten path to his house. What that means is that if you do your work well, people will come to you and you'll be overwhelmed. You need to adopt strategies that at least can advise if you can't cope with all. But along the same line, uh, to Raymond and Muriel, it is no surprise that we found our way to this place to enjoy your food. Thank you very much. Now, if you ask me, if you ask me why, well, what my goals for Mutet are, I will tremble. For I have a vision of an organization that would raise the standard of healthcare in Ghana through our target hospitals, which I would call torchbearers, cooperating with the Ghana Minister of Health. We will support training programs for health workers by linking institutions in Ghana with benevolent institutions in the UK and the developed world. I have a vision of an organization that would have a secretariat of at least one paid permanent secretary, an honorary accountant advised by a trustee executive. I dream of an organization that would encourage the local industries in Ghana to support their local households in a purposeful fashion. I also dream of the day that Sub-Saharan Africa can provide adequate health care for her people and modernize to meet the true health needs of her people. I am not comfortable in my sleep when it, it keeps echoing 
you are in Africa, so we cannot have this treatment here. Surely, the human anatomy only varies in skin color and genetic instruction. Poverty has been inherited in some way, but human affection is common to all in the world. So the world can help the change for better quality of life for all. The financial difficulties of MUTEC should make us resolute and help us strive for support and indeed, in one sense, our difficulties have dynamized our call for change and hence our meeting today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not only hungry to eat today, but hungry enough to contribute to our quota in the drive for better health care in the remotest parts of the world that we should care to reach. MoTech needs you. MoTech welcomes you. Now I'm ready to eat and dance. <laughs> Thank you all very sincerely for coming. My special gratitude to Raymond uh, and Muriel and the family whose dream idea has made this day happen. To all my special assistants, it's been a wonderful time together. The helpers, music makers, dishwashers, I say, made that mercy. To my family whose support has been the strength of my endeavors, I say, thank you very much.